GT Cruiser spotted. Let's go check this thing out. It's for sale, lol. I don't see a for sale sign on it, but oh, I can see what this is. <clears throat> Look at the tires here. They appear to be pretty well worn down. The brake rotor, that definitely needs to be replaced. You feel it's scored and all that. A little minor body damage. But there's no rot out. It's not rotted out right there. Just the design in the back is just so horrible. Every time I'm behind one of these things, I want to take my old Cadillac and just like ram it along, like make it move. It just looks like it's going so slow. There's a little bit more body damage and minor surface rust. And it appears as if all well, the tires in the back don't look too bad. Aha! This tire has got way more tread than the other one. On the on the left side. For some reason the one on the left side is uh, worn down. I don't know if it's the same brand. What is this? That's a Cooper. We have a Cooper, so that's the same brand. That's a Cooper. That's a Cooper. Well, for some reason, the one on that side has got about half the amount of tread. No, over there or not. I think somebody's into selling used cars. All right. Is the headliner drooping down? No? The interior looks, uh... Doesn't look too bad. No, but for, from what you can see. Maybe look at the back here. Well, I never knew the back of these things had so much space. Uh, can't really They're kind of roomy. No, but Maybe the Maybe you see your reflection. What we got here? We got 2007. 137,000 miles. Oh, this. Oh, Dallas. This is Certificate of safety inspection. Somebody must have been using this for an Uber or something. Texas. That's not from around here anyway. Look, well, it's over here. Yeah, these <clears throat> Hyundai's and, and Kia's, they get the headlight covers, get uh, flogged over at a very early age. There doesn't seem to be any rot out, but it's entirely too recent of a vehicle for that. What's the interior look like? It don't look too bad. Something right there. I'm at the back end here. The back end here. I mean, the quarter panel looks like. The, the quarter panel looks like 
Somebody did some body work to it because look at that. Paint does not match. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is been sprayed. It's so dull. Look at the the roof is so shiny. The paint right here is really dull. Like they didn't wet sand it because they're afraid of it. Ever in this body work. You can hear the bondo when you tap on it. You know, it has sort of a, like a dead sound. Looking for evidence of overspray. Usually on the door handles and stuff like that. Minor effects so, of Yeah, there you go. See the moldings right there? This has definitely been repainted. This thing has been wiped out on the whole side. The, the entire side has been like completely resprayed and they didn't wet sand it and knock it down. I'm looking at the gap right here is much narrower than the gap over here. See that? See how the bumper doesn't fit back? The gap is really weird right here by the door. Dog leg. That's the dog leg. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how thick that is right there. Um Personally, I think I would run from both of these things. They're about equal, and uh, <laughs> unless they're really cheap. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you one more thing. The the bondo work is so horrific. So horrific that look at this. Water is oozing from the inside. <laughs> Stay away from the Hyundai. Just another PT Cruiser from Joliet. <laughs> <laughs>